All right, you guys, today's the day Winky's getting her exhaust. So I'll show you guys what the hell we're gonna do here. And uh, yeah, we don't change tires here. We actually fucking work. Ah, raw, good. So see this pipe here? That pipe's gonna get replaced with, a, with true duels on both sides, front to back. So yeah, fun, 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 fun. They did not make a lot of room underneath these cars. You guys back when this shit's off. Give me the PV you got right now so I can soak it while we're fucking going to get some brushes. All right, you guys, so this thing's jacked up in the air. Dad, what do you think's gonna happen? They're gonna what build? I think's gonna happen? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna be pulling a manifold so the way it's gonna break, but. Do I, do I? That's that's my or look, that's probably what will happen. But what I think happens, I think if I can get up in here with the torch, it'll be heated up and it'll come right off. It's not a bunch of, a bunch of issues. Problem is, you gotta be careful with the torch. So I'll bring you guys back when we're heating this thing up. Here, man, come grab this. Alright. I don't know how hot it is. Oh. Yeah, it's off of my finger, dude. <laughs> One out, six to go. Now you get to figure out mufflers and stuff on that pipe. All right, you guys. So this is the first time this has ever happened. It may be the second time in my life I've ever had them all just come out with that. All of them came out with no heat, no nothing, no fighting, no really cussing. This is what happens when you buy a low mile car, a good car. Because and you take your time. And yeah. you, I mean, because this car has no oil or training fluid. Oh, man, you gotta get a video underneath. You guys car. are gonna love this, dude. This fucking yeah. car is. I'm I'm pretty stoked. Which I love the car, anyways. This motor ain't gonna drop a oil leak that long. I mean, the transmission, the back of the tail shaft ain't ain't been wet at one time. I mean. So fun. bring you guys back when we're fitting the exhaust, which will be here in a minute. Alrighty, you guys, so pipes are on. Oh, you guys can see that. There you go. And uh, we got some mending to do. These pipes hang low on that other C4, so I want to try to get them up as close as I can to up here to where they're supposed to ride for ground clearance. Because in these cars, you don't have a ton of ground clearance, so the most you can squeeze is the better you get. More betters. Bring you guys back, we're cutting and welding. Alrighty, you guys, the exhaust was on until Dad just pulled it down. But, yeah, it's coming together. You guys back when it's on and we're starting it. Alrighty, you guys, they are installed. So, hell yeah. There is a certain somebody's idea that your car won't run without cats. You guys back what's on the ground. Alrighty, you guys. So the exhaust is done. All right, back on the ground. Let's hear how it sounds. Now I went cherry bombs. I know I say cherry bombs when you flowmasters, but flowmasters are actually shorter than these cherry bombs. So here's what it is. Here's the system we took off of it. These looks like three cats actually. So that's a little bit of money. So there goes that dumbass on YouTube's theory that your car won't run without cats because that car runs perfectly fucking fine. It's your O2 sensors that matter, not your Cadillac converters. Don't be a fucking idiot. And uh, yeah, do your own research. Howdy you guys. So I do want to say this to everybody that's watching, car turned out just fine car runs it has got cherry bombs on it so it sounds like a fucking square body chevy but 
perfectly fine. There's there's an idiot that I'm not gonna refer to his name on his channel, but he's a YouTuber. And on my other channel, you guys know all that. So this YouTuber likes to say that your car won't run without cats. You need Cadillac or Rivers for your car to run. Some states, it's illegal to have on certain years of cars for your cats to be gone. If it came with a cat, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have. In certain states, it's not. Indiana, for one, being one. So your cars will run perfectly fine without Cadillac or Rivers. It's the O2 sensors that matter. Those sensors right there are what? Those are oxygen sensors. So those are needed on newer engines to keep them running properly on fuel injected engines. It helps your computer and all that shit. So with that being said, do your own research and if you're gonna speak on here, at least speak somewhat truthful. Don't just speak a bunch of lies because that just proved him wrong. And his thinking that car would not run at all without the cats gone. So now, do I recommend doing that on an age of stand car? No, it's all preference. I wanted to get away from the cats. I just didn't like them on there. Plus the exhaust was rotted from like here back so the mufflers were gone. And I found them straight pipes and I got them for like 25 bucks at a local pool park. So you might as well put straight pipe stools, whatever you want to call them. There's one, it's cord and dad, one's different than the other. I don't, I'd get them mixed up, but you might as well go duels. And I just, I just always, every car, I like having duels on it. No matter if it's this, no matter if it's what, even if it's cat back duels, I like having, or cat back exhaust for you. You technically don't have two, you don't technically don't have straight pipes. You just got, you know, or not straight pipes. Straight pipes, no muffler. I don't fucking know. But duels on everything. That's what I say to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And uh, see you guys next time. And thank all you guys for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate every single one of you. There's more to come on this vet. Next, I'm going to do away with the AC, or not the AC, the uh, smog pump and all that junk underneath the hood. I'm going to do away with that. Um, I need to replace the wheel bearings on each side, and we still need to replace that rack. So if you guys like C4 Corvette stuff, more to come on this. I'm sure eventually I'll blow that engine up, and we will rebuild it and do something with it. That car will probably never go anywhere as long as I live. There's certain cars that we have here that will never go anywhere. Skylark, or sorry, not the Skylark. You guys will get mad at me. The GS, Project Gramps, the Le Mans over there and that Corvette. So with that being said, see you guys next time here on Poor Man's Speed Shop. Don't forget, Poor Man's Speed Shop forever, the rest never. And uh, as always, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.